Hello everyone, my name is Nandita. I am an intern student at Avishkar Tech Solution, Private Limited. As a part of a data science course at Avishkar, I made a project that is credit card fraud detection. The objective of the project is to identify whether a new transaction is fraudulent or not. Why this project is necessary? Because credit card fraud costs consumers and the financial company billions of dollars annually. And fraudsters continuously try to find new routes and tactics to commit illegal actions. Thus, fraud detection systems have become essential for banks and financial institutions to minimize their losses. In this project, I have used supervised classification machine learning algorithms to detect the credit card frauds. Okay, let's deep dive into this project. The first step is data pre-processing, in which I imported all the necessary libraries required for my project. I read the data set that is credit card.csv. Here we can see this file. Then coming to dot head, it will give the starting five rows. Tile will give the last five rows and shape of the data set. It gives how many number of columns and rows present in the data. Here we can see 2,84,807 are the rows and 31 are the columns. Info will give the information about the data like its of type, float or int and whether the presence of null value or not. Then is null dot any checks the null value and dot sum will give the count of the null values. Data dot describe. It will give us a minimum, maximum, standard deviation and mean value for each and every features present in our data set. Dot columns gives a name of the columns. And in our data set, class is considered as a target feature. Here we can see the number of rods is 492 and number of no rods is 2,84,000. 315. Dot sample will give a random rows. Correlation matrix. What is this? Correlation matrix gives like how one feature is dependent on the other feature. We can also visualize this correlation matrix using a heat map from Seabone library. To visualize the distribution of NAN values, that is missing values, I imported a missing NO library. And I plot the histogram for all the features present in our data set. For selected features, I plotted a disk plot. And also a pair grid plot. And a LM plot also. And a clown plot. In which here we can see in our target value, it contains a two values that is 0 and 1, which is not balanced. Here we can see there is no equal number of values present here. So in order to balance the data, we use a technique called smooth, which is synthetic minority or something technique is used to balance the target features. After applying this technique, here we can see that our output that is target variable got balanced. So here we can see that and also the dimension of our data got increased to 5,67,612 rows and 31 columns. The columns remains the same. And detecting outliers. What is an outlier? It's an observation that lies an abnormal distance from other values in a random sample from a population. And detecting the outliers using a box plot. And a removal of outliers. I used a Z-score method to remove the outliers. After removal of outliers, my data dimension got decreased because it removes the outliers present in our data set. And a final part is data prediction part. Here I split my entire data set into try and test. Before going to k nearest neighbor algorithm like applying an algorithm to my model, I made a standardization technique. It involves the rescaling the distribution of values so that the mean of the observed values is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. Here comes the k nearest neighbor. I applied this algorithm to my model knn.fit x time y time here i gave my to try a model i gave an input and output thing so after that to predict thing i given a access which is a new set of data to predict the 
output like whether it is a fraudulent or not so i made a comparison between the actual value and the model predicted value here we can see our model predicted almost similar to a actual value then i calculated the accuracy f1 score and precision and recall score now i uh, applied a decision tree classifier and logistic regression and even random forest classifier these are i made a same steps what are the things i have made in k and nearest neighbors same steps are followed to be here so what's the conclusion is like to predict whether a new transaction is fraudulent or not i train my model using different algorithms like knn logistic decision tree and random forest among this random forest classifier gives the high accuracy score this algorithm is best suited to given data set to predict the fraudulent in new transaction so here we can see that in a random forest classifier here a one indicates the presence of fraud transaction in our data set even the our model also predicted in a right way so i got an accuracy of 0.98343 etc okay this all about my project i thank both the trainers of this data science course for all the knowledge they shared in the course because of which i was able to do this responsive project i also thank the management team of avishkar for their continuous effort for motivating me to do the assignments and challenging tasks given in the internship program I thank my mentors Mayuri madam Sushma madam and also thank Sunil sir for motivating motivating me throughout this course thank you Avishka thank you